Oh, hi guys. Uh, today I've been doing some cleanup and moving stuff around. Uh, had some chunks of old wood laying here and I cleaned them up with a skid steer. Got the unhooked the planter, moved it back. Did a little bit of tree be gone behind the barn. Uh, got the Oliver hooked back to the drill because there's a possibility tomorrow I might be planting again. I don't know. Day is the, uh, let's see, what is the day? Thursday? Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. But there's a bunch of old firewood sitting under where, well, where this is sitting. I got rid of that. Uh, started there and went on down, removing trees and brush. And it's amazing how fast them daggone trees grow in just a year or two. <laughs> it's amazing. I uh, moved this from over there to here. I put the picker back here. Uh, I get the wheat cut. I'll put that corn head behind the picker. Uh, as far as I know, the Ford baler is going to be leaving. I uh, moved the Glencoe field cultivator someplace. Haven't figured out where yet. The wheat is very close. I uh, checked it a while ago. Uh, about half, well, the very top kernels are dry. They'll crunch, but they're still, they crunch, but they're soft. What's below them is you can still squish with your fingers, kind of. So, it's really close. Uh, today, is, no, today is Thursday. Uh, today is supposed to be nice. Tomorrow it's supposed to be nice but hotter and more humid. And Saturday and Sunday and Monday, we're going to get rain. And they're talking a bunch of it. And that's when that uh, Sahara dust plume is supposed to come up uh, we're supposed to get that mess so uh, we'll just play it by ear and see what happens but she's looking pretty good um, we did the straw is going to be baled uh, I've got that worked out uh, so I just have to make my mind up what head I want to use. Uh, the 213 Flex is ready to go. Uh, but the bad thing about it is the wide snouts. Well, this one needs a couple of finger guards in it, and it's ready to use. Sickle's good, guards are good, it's ready to go. I just don't know which one I want to use. Um, this one I can't change the speed of the reel. The other I'll have variable speed reel. Only thing I can do is pop the belt off, take this. Uh, Unbolt this sprocket and go down to this sprocket. But I think that will really make it go slow. I don't know. But I have everything I could put the variable speed reel back on here, but I want to leave this set up for the 95. Uh don't know what I'm going to do yet. I may just hook to the 213 and go with it. Uh, got the chopper off of it. 
the combine. So it's ready to go. Uh, it might be, well, it'll be a long day if I go down there. I may be planting 30 acres or 35 acres, I think. So I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, it's about 4.30. Dad's been mowing. I've been moving everything in the world and cleaning up. And I'm tired. So I think it's time to call it a day. Uh, it's one of them days. <laughs> uh, see if Dad has any wits or wisdoms for the day. <laughs> Alright, Pops. Have you got any wits or wisdoms? <laughs> You're on overtime, right? Right. No, we can't have that. <laughs> the boss is allowed to holler, holler about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I say, the chopper's off. She's pretty much ready to go. Um, I just, all I got to do is literally uh, maybe go around it with a grease gun. I think I've got everything greased. And let's get it out of the barn, hook it up to the head. And start setting everything. Set the cylinder speed, set the concave down, and just kind of go from there. So I think I'm going to call it here, guys. We'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Give us that thumbs up. Ring that bell. And for notifications. And we'll see you next time. Any departing words, Father Dearest? Uh, take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys.